All right, we live right here with Mr. Robert Trimmer. Now, Mr. Trimmer, you said there's something that you would like to say. Say what you would like to say, because first of all, how old are you, Mr. Trimmer? I'm 91 years old. Oh. Now, when you got married, oh, man, I can imagine, man, the, the, one of the Trimmer boys getting married, Miss Neal and Mr. Neal, they all, they all knew the Trimmer. It wasn't too many people in Third Ward didn't know the Trimmer, especially up and down Carl Street. Well, that's true. Because y'all had that big old prayer. Y'all had all that stuff over there by Texas Southern where y'all used to used to run y'all horses at. Y'all 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 hunt up and down uh, 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 the street. Eventually became Ruth and Rosewood. That was y'all hunting ground. That's yeah, right. Y'all ran possum and, and oh, rabbits oh, all up in oh, that neighborhood. Also, the ground where Texas Southern is now, we hunted all over in that bird hunted and everything. Everything is over there. Yeah. Boy, this is what we're talking about. You know, when you move down there on on the, on Carl Street, you and your wife, was that the first house you had? I was born down there. I was, I was born in 1922, right there at 3919 Carl Street, which was was a hardcore country. Okay. My daddy sold wood, because, you know, wood was the thing of the day back there. They cooked and heated with wood, and my daddy sold wood. We delivered wood all over Third Ward. That's why y'all knew so much yeah. about the about part of Third Ward and being able because during them days people didn't have liquid stores. Man, stole. back then was, if you had if you owned a wood yard, you were you a big businessman as a yeah. black man selling wood. Because everything was done by wood. That's, you know, you stayed warm with the heater with wood. That, you had no electric that, thing. You cooked by by wood on a wooden stove. Right there on carb right there on carb where it was now carb and wheeler. It used to be What was that neighborhood? was on Carl Street. Somebody say one time it was called West West Sampson Street or West yeah. Alabama. Well, Sampson was, uh, it was West, it, but it really go all the way back where, where Carl is now, because it's just about, Texas Southern it just about took all that in. Right, but, but years it started ago, on Holman, right? It, it, the first name it had was Galveston. And it eventually changed it from Galveston to East Sampson and later to Cobb. So it went through three different names. Because they had, well, reading they changed it from Samson because it was East Samson. And you know there's another Samson that takes from Southmore going down to the bayou. Right. And they had to change it because of the t they, were, they, were, uh, they were about a half a mile be uh, between the two. Okay. So they didn't want, they, they wasn't, they, one wasn't the extension of the other. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because the other Samson went straight on through the, all the way down through the bayou, which was going towards the Jewish neighborhood. Well, at that time, see, Samson used to dead in right there at where Rosewood is now. But when you left there, you were going into the woods. Right. See, my daddy ran a milk dairy there until 1932. It wasn't a lot Well, Samson, Samson did it in, okay, because it didn't even, it, it wasn't no Wheeler Street, was it? No, no, it was Woods, or that was old, that was a country. Okay. We had geese, cows, and horses, guineas, turkeys, everything there. Just very, so the only thing that separated y'all from Carl Street was the woods. There's only two streets from Holman down in there. And it no, I, I want to talk about right there where Rosewood and r r meet in with, with. That was farmland. Okay, so now, the, a house that I knew y'all had was on the corner of Rosewood and Carl. That's right. Okay, what was the first house at? Right there, same place. Okay, well then, what are the woods was? So y'all was behind the woods. It was no when you left when you left Holman coming uh, left Holman Street, coming uh, south. Coming towards Sampson Dead End, right there where Rosewood is now, and from Rosewood to Southmore was woods. Okay, uh, Samson Dead End at where now? Samson Dead End at, at what is now Rosewood. But when you got to the... Okay, so Samson Dead, dead End. East Samson Dead End, right? It was now Rosewood. Okay, yeah, okay. And then East Samson ran parallel. It, it ran on the side of Carl Street, which Carl Street was in the back. It was on the other side. No, East Samson was Cobb. See, they changed the name. Okay. Okay. See, like I said, uh, up, up near Holman Street, it, it was used to be called Galveston. Okay. Then they changed it from Galveston to East Sampson, and later they changed it to Cobb. I don't know why, but that's, that's what they did. Okay, now, let's go back 
to something that is so vital to our black history that's going into the future. All of remember, I want you, Mr. Trimmer, if you can, think of all the good things that happened down on Dowling Street. So, first of all, Mr. Trimmer, uh, you know, they changed the name of Dowling Street to Emancipation Park. And it's so much black history. Is that the name? And that's a new name, the Emancipation, uh, Emancipation Boulevard? Which was Emancipation Park Boulevard. Is that what it is? Okay. Okay. Now, during the time in the 40s, I know because they had a, I took something off of the internet that showed in 1940, that's when Lightning Hopkins came to Houston and he played his music on Dowling Street and they had it showing that he went from Dowling Street to Carlington Hall and took the blues all over the country. That's what started B.B. King and a lot of other people into the blues. And now, but I don't want to go and drill on what Lightning did. I want to drill on all the good memories that Dowling had for the black community. First of all, Dowling Street, really, you said Dowling started way back on the other end of downtown, right. which was Congress. Congress did, and used to come come in the uh, east. Congress used to end there, Dowling, had a, and it curved right uh, curved on into Dowling and come and, still do. and come on south. I think it's still that way. Yeah, still that way. Okay. Now, you come on through down Dowling. Did blacks stay all in them houses down there by McKinney, Pope, Lamar, Dallas? Because all of those streets. Bell. Bell. Yeah, they, that's black. Leland. That was a heavily populated black area. Okay. And then later on, uh, 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 I-45 came in 1948, which we would call Interstate 45, mm -hmm. and back then that, it was, was Highway 75, and before then it was no, a no, super no, highway. Was that right? No, no. It's, uh, uh, I think uh, it, when the first freeway, from Houston to Galveston was a non-stop from Houston to Galveston, and they call it Super Highway. Okay. Which is later now the Gulf Freeway. Okay. Yeah. Where did it start at? Because it took a lot of homes. I think it started just about. I think it started about Dowling. It did. And, and, okay. And, and On went, and went, Okay. And this is east. the information that I got. That. Uh, when they started it up there on Dowling and Pierce and Jefferson. Yeah, but that's, in the, that's the area that started. That was the beginning. Okay, and Calhoun. All of that used to be black neighborhoods that they had to take out to make room for that super highway that we know now as Gulf Freeway and as we call it, I-45 South. Right. Okay, they took a lot of black homes out of that area. Oh yeah, they took all of the homes too for, for that for, for the for the, the right away for the for the freeway. Right, and most of those blacks, when they moved, when they when they, when they, when, they, when the, that would be the state taking those homes, right? Yeah. Okay, now when they moved and took those homes, a lot of those blacks had to move back towards San Emanuel, back out towards the other end of Alpha Dollar. Well, you know, St. Emmanuel ran parallel with Dowling, but just a few blocks uh, west right. of Dowling. Yeah. Now, now, in going through some of the history that I know about Dowling, I, I mean, the first thing that would come to my mind was El Dorado Ballroom. El Dorado Ballroom, Elgin and Dowling. Yeah. That was the first big one. The, the, the guy that owned the, the name was Dupree. Yeah, I mean, that was the first thought to yeah. come in my mind. And then the second thought would come to my mind would also be... Uh, 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 Hobra uh, Brooks had a, had a very popular restaurant there. Let's the go down Dollar Street. Let's Hobra, go down... Hobra okay, Brooks. now, let me ask you this. Now, Dollar Street and Blacks, did they they wasn't crossing Holman. They hadn't... Was whites living on the other side of Dollar on Alabama back out towards that way? The whites started uh, uh -huh. along about Alabama, uh -huh. and went uh, everything uh, east of uh, Dowling, about Alabama. West of Dowling uh, was whites. Okay. And so now, 
Now, when we when we talk about Darling that we knew, because see, Darling to me is the only street that ran through Third Ward that's coming from downtown. That was the main stem for us. Right. That was the only street that where you can go from down from Third Ward to downtown if you wanted to walk. Here's the popular places. Okay. We had the Park Theater, was right off the corner of Two M and Dowling. Okay. Then the Emancipation Park was bounded by Two M and Elgin. Okay. And I think the backside of it was Bastrop. Okay. Yeah. Well, we talking about Dowling. And they had, and they had, and the swimming pool came in. Uh, swimming pool must have come in around 1937, 38, because we, I learned how to swim in the bayou. <laughs> okay. Now, 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 let's but, go on down, uh, keep on going down, darling, as you know and, it. And on, 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 at the Emancipation Park, we used to have on Wednesday night, was a night once a week. Uh -huh. Wednesday night, they had three movies. Okay. All of the black children could go down there and, and watch a movie. And I don't know whether it was a, it was a moving movie or just a, or just a, you know, there was a moving movie or not. But you didn't have chairs. You just sit on the ground and they'd come out there and, and put up this big, Thing that to show you a movie. Okay. And that was just big pleasure for us then back then because wasn't too much else in there it was for, to enjoy okay. for, for children. Now, 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 when you go down to Emancipation Park and, and, and from what I understood that they gave blacks that park? I don't know who. I just I think it was a black, but I think he gave three acres for that for the Emancipation Park. For blacks? Right. Okay. So and I think I think I think Jack Yates participated in that. He did, yeah. From what I understand, Reverend Jack Yates and uh, the minister who started uh, 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 Jerusalem Missionary Baptist Church. I don't forgot his it's name, but right. You mean Reverend Pleasant? I guess that's his name. Yeah, St. John on Dollar. No, sir. I'm talking about Evangel uh, 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 Greater Jerusalem, which is on 2M and Hutchins. Yeah, that's right. It's Cone House back there. That's... Uh, that's, that's uh, uh, yeah, that's Greater Jerusalem. Yeah, I, I remember that now. Okay, now, uh, now we going on down, Dollar. We got the park theater. Then you got uh, you used to have be a donut shop or something now, and then you had had Reddick's ice cream pubs on two of them, darling, on okay. the corner, and across the street, on the northwest corner was Buck's Drug Store. Okay. That was a very popular place in there. Well, Buck Drugstore, okay, we're going on down, darling, heading towards a street that we call McGowan. McGowan, that's right, McGowan was down oh, there, too. Right, right. We, we ain't getting that foot out of McGowan. We're going to, we going to what they call the 2800 block of Dollar. Yes, that's, that's about right. Yeah, I mean, which was, but you know, which was a real popular block of Dollar. And which would include the Emancipation Park, which would include uh, uh, East Tex Cafe, which yeah, it would in, which would which, uh, which would include uh, uh, Tyler Barber College. Tyler Barber College. And it would include uh, Stand and Make Shoes. Stand and Make Shoes was yeah. there. And it would also include St. John Baptist Church. And then on the other side, who ain't never going nowhere, is Wolf Department stuff. Wolf's is a little further. Let's just see. Wolf's yeah, right Wolf's in there. Right across yeah, right the street from St. John. That's right. St. John. Yeah. Because then you had Wolf and then you had the big East, East Tex Cafe. Right. It was there too. Yeah. And then you had go, coming on down, then you had Square Deal, and then you had the Park Theater. If I'm not mistaken. Yes, the Park Theater is there for comfort to him and Dollar. And to it. But. Okay, Just and beyond. then the Dowling, then we're working on back on the other side. Because this is history now, Mr. 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 Trimble. That's why we're going back over there and we document it. Now, on the other side of Dowling and McGowan, the most popular was that hotel. Uh, I can't think of the name of it, but it was a two-story hotel. El Japo. El Japo. <laughs> that motel had some of the big famous stars. And the Senate. There. They had the Senate. The Senate Grill was in there. Right. The Senate Grill was in Grill. And then now you should be getting close to the Dowling Theater, which would be on on that which would be on that corner. Uh, Webs. I think Dowling Theater was around Webs and Dowling. Exactly. Between Webs and Grave. Now you missed some bit some businesses in there. Well, tell me the ones I missed. You had had a shoe shop in there right next to St. Standard Make Shoes in St. John. Uh-huh. A guy named Bartholomew. Okay. 
He had a son named Horace Bartholomew. Okay? They had a shoe shop. It was one of the most popular shoe house, uh, uh, shoe repair shops in Third Ward. Okay. Yeah, and what else did we miss? Because we.